why are super PACs allowed? And if they're legal, why does every candidate have one yet act like they are the plague? Super PACs originate with a Supreme Court decision in 2010 that you've probably heard of called Citizens United. And while Citizens United did not directly create super PACs, the court's reasoning on what are called independent expenditures paved the way for what we now call super PACs. And a super PAC is basically a political committee whose primary purpose is to influence elections and which can take unlimited amounts of money outside of federal contribution limits from rich people, from unions, and from corporations, pull it all together and spend it to advocate for a candidate as long as they are independent and not coordinating with the candidate. Our destiny pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. The second question is, why is every candidate treat them like they are the plague? With the exception of one super PAC supporting Mitt Romney, Restore our future. none of these super PACs have yet been required by federal law to disclose their donors. That means they're spending millions of dollars right now in the heat of the Republican primary to help pick the next nominee for their party. And that raises the question for the candidates. Who are these people who are spending millions of dollars? What's their interest? What are they trying to achieve? What policy interests do they have in Washington and elsewhere? Those are questions that can be uncomfortable for candidates to ask, especially because they are not supposed to have any coordination or communication with these super PACs that are supporting them. And that is why you have each of these candidates both happy to have the help of the super PACs and deflecting any responsibility for what they do.